long break i am coming before you with a new video there has been a great demand from various quarters that i should do a uh, this uh, m1 mathematics 1 of first sem also but uh, because of due to so many reasons i could not do it now because of very high pressure what i have decided is not to do m1 in its entirety mathematics 1 in, in its entirety but instead i have found that the students uh generally in maths 1 they fare very badly in trigonometry that is they are afraid of touching trigonometry they normally leave trigonometry completely they don't touch it in the examination whereas uh, they do other things algebra and other things they will be somehow able to manage but trigonometry is something which they are not able to manage and here uh, you will get around 40 to 40, uh, 45 to 50 marks in trigonometry so i am trying to do trigonometry now this what i am doing will be helpful for those who are in uh, first semester now right now that is they are doing 15 syllabus and those who are in ninth batch ninth scheme uh, they have uh, also got trigonometry they have some back papers they will be having m1 then they can also refer to it this trigonometry is taught in 10th and 11th standards of various boards also those students also can do it can use my videos and uh, i am doing it right from the beginning the elementary this thing so i am starting it the subject is trigonometry one of the branch of trigonometry is a branch of mathematics a very important branch in engineering it plays a very a uh, significant role this trigonometry calculus differential calculus integral calculus they are very important in engineering so the knowledge of this is a must for any student who is doing this engineering now the first unit that i am taking the elementary unit that is i am taking measurement of angles measurement of angles now you know what an angle is when two straight lines intersect with, e with each other an angle is formed now we have to measure this angle to measure something we require an unit now the unit used in the measurement of angle there are different units used but the most common units that are used are degree and radians these are the two units which are very commonly used in engineering one is degree and the other one is radian now we should be able to convert degrees into radians and radians into degrees this is first thing now let me first define what is a degree and what is a uh, <coughs> radian now let us say we have a vector we have a vector now there is a vector here it can rotate now this is taken to be the reference line this is taken as zero zero now here from here if i start rotating it it cuts an angle it makes an angle this vector makes an angle with the horizontal if you move in this direction that is anti clockwise direction the angle is considered to be positive the angle subtended here is considered to be positive if i move in the anti clockwise direction and if i move in the clockwise direction then the angle is considered to be negative so this is the convention conventionally the angle that is traced when i move like this is taken to be positive and the angle that is traced will be taken to be negative when i move like this now the if you go one round from here from here and come back to this this point then we say we have covered 360 degrees this will be 360 degrees now if this is divided into 360 equal parts if we divide it into 360 equal parts then one part is called as one degree 
Now this is 0. Now this will be 90 degrees. This will be 180 degrees. This is 270 degrees. And this will be 360 degrees. So it comes like this. Now if you are taking the measurement in radians, then this will be pi by 2 radians. 90 degree will be pi by 2 radians. From here again 0. This is pi by 2. This is pi radians. And this is 3 pi by 2 radians. And this is 2 pi radians. 360 degree will be 2 pi radians. So, you can say, by definition, 180 degree is equal to pi radians or pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. This pi is a alphabet of a language and its value mathematically it's a constant. Its value is taken as 22, 22 by 7 or it is also taken as 3.142. That is the value of pi. 180 degree is considered to be pi radians and when we are to convert when we are to convert radians to degrees or degrees to radians what we have to do is x degrees will be equal to x into pi by 180 radians if you multiply the degree by the ratio pi by 180 what you get is will be in radians similarly if you want to convert radians into degrees, say you have x radians, I want to convert it into degrees, then what I have to do is x into 180 by pi, that is the reciprocal of this, reciprocal of this gives me the value of this in degrees. So this is how the conversion takes place. Now in those of you who are in scheme 9, 9 2009 scheme, who, are, who have got this subject as balance back subject for you this conversion if you know how to convert radians into degrees and degrees into radians you get two marks in the this thing then another thing which will be asked in this chapter is see here we have let us say I have a circle this is a circle, this is its center. Now this is called a sector of a circle. This is called a sector of a circle. This is the radius of the circle. This length, this arc length, the length of this arc, let me call it as L or S, whatever it is. Now it is subtending a angle of theta radians at the center of the circle. So, R is radius in unit, the unit will be either in mm or centimeter or meter or kilometer, whatever it is, it's the radius. L is length of arc, length of arc in the same unit. These two will, should be in the same unit. Theta is angle subtended angle subtended at the center at the center in this should be in radians this is important this should be in radians if these three are the parameters there then these three are related by this formula L, L is equal to R theta this is one formula this equation connects three quantities here, L, R and theta. Given any two of them, the third one can be found out. So this is one uh, equation that comes. The next equation that comes is area of this sector, area of the sector of the circle. That is this shaded area, this area which I have shaded. That area of the sector is given by the formula R square theta by 2. If you know these two formulae, these two formulae if you know, then you get 5 marks. Those of you who are in uh, 9 scheme, for them, they will get totally from this chapter, you will get about 7 marks. I will try to solve a few problems now on this. 
from the old question papers. I have a few question papers here. From these question papers, I am trying to solve this. See, it is like this. April, May 2018. April, May 2018. This is 9SC 01M. That is maths 1 question paper of 9 scheme. 9 SC means it is 9 scheme question paper. 15 SC means it is 15 scheme question paper. Here in section A, section A, problem number 6, 6, two, for 2 marks, he says express, express 120 degree 120 degree in radians in radians so this is for 2 marks now 120 degree will be equal to 120 multiplied by pi by 180 so 6 2s are 12 6 3s are 2 pi by 3 radians if you give this much answer that is enough this is conversion of degrees into radians normally in section a you will get one problem like this carrying uh, two marks so this is from april may 2018 next April May 2017 April May 2017 again 9SC01M is the code of the paper we have a problem problem number 7 problem number 7 for 2 marks he says express 60 degree in radians some angle will be given. They will ask you to convert it into radians. From degrees into radians. Again what we have to do is. 60 degree will be equal to. 60 into pi by 180. So 61 is 63 is. It's very simple. Pi by 3 radians. If you write this much. You will get 2 marks. Just uh, doing it this much will give you will fetch you two marks next uh, in the same papers there will be one five marks question also that I will do I will do a few problems on that also again I will take April May 2018 this, uh, this problem comes in section C for five marks Section C. This is 2018, April, May 2018. Problem number 24. Problem number 24. It goes like this Find the area of a sector of a circle of radius. Find the area of sector of a circle of radius 12 centimeters and central angle is 30 degree that is theta I is 30 degree now what we want is area of the sector this is what is asked now the formula is A is equal to R square theta divided by 2 this is the formula 
for calculating the area but you must be careful here that is this theta is given in degrees but in this equation it has to be substituted in radians so first what we do is convert that theta into radians it will be theta will be equal to 30 into pi by 180 so 31 za 36 za so pi by 6 radians it becomes then I will substitute it here r is equal to uh, r square is 12 square into pi divided by 2 12 square is 144 pi by 2 so this will be 72 pi square centimeters you can leave it like that it can be left as 72 pi square centimeters because r is given in centimeter the area will be in square centimeter suppose r is given in millimeter the area we get will be in square millimeter if r is given in meters then the area will be in square meters so this is all that you have to do this fetches you five marks this will give you five marks those of you who have this paper as back subject next uh, <laughs> Next, uh, April, May 2017 now. Question number again, section C, 24. Section C, problem number 24. This is 2017. 2017, section C. Problem number 24 for 5 marks. Uh, it is like this. Find the area of the sector of a circle of radius 50 centimeters. So the value of R is different. 50 centimeter and the central angle is 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So what is the area? Again we have to find out the area of this. Again we have to convert this the formula remains the same. This angle is same 30 degrees. So it will be pi by 6. Pi by 6 radians only. I have left it in the first paper. I have, I have taken only pi. I have not taken 6. So it will not be 72. It will be 12 pi square centimeter this six i have left off there so that you have to incorporate now again in this problem same problem similar problem theta is 30 degree only so it will be pi by 6 radians a will be a is what we have to find out r square r is 50 square into theta is pi by 6 divided by 2 this 2 will come down this 6 will come down so this will be 2500 pi divided by 12. So that will be 2500 divided by 12 means 12 twos are 24. 1 doesn't go. 2 naught you will get 100. 2 naught 8 point 3 3 you get 3 3 pi square centimeter again because this is in centimeter pi by 6 radians so 50 is r so you will get this much 208 by 208.33 pi square centimeters Yes, 208.33 pi square centimeters you get. So this is a problem. Again, we can take up some more problems. Again. 
again this is from november december 2016 november december 2016 November December 2016 9SC 01M Section C Problem number 24 again A railway train is running on a circular track of radius 1.5 km so R is 1.5 km here that is the radius of the track with a speed of speed of 45 kilometers per hour kilometers per hour find the angle find the angle it has turned it has find the angle it has turned through in 50 seconds in 50 seconds time is 15 seconds find the angle it has turned and the angle he wants in degrees this should be in degrees this is for 5 marks now here it's little this thing now here train is moving on a circular path it is it is negotiating a curve now this we he wants theta here now we have to use the formula l is equal to r theta and from here we have to find out this theta the angle it has traced we can find out uh, by using this formula to get theta here i should know both l and r now r is given but l is not given instead of giving the length of this arc he has given it is traveling with a speed of 45 km per hour and it is this thing it is what is the angle turned in 15 seconds he says now speed you know speed is distance traveled distance traveled divided by time taken to travel the distance now this is given in this is given as 45 km per hour now 45 km per hour means it will be 45 into 1000 to convert it into meters divided by 60 into 60 to cover to make it meters per second one hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds so hour to convert hour into second what i have done is i have taken it i have multiplied by 1000 and divided by 60 into 60 so what do i get 45 into 1000 divided by 3600 will give me 12.5 meters per second uh, so, now this will get converted into 12.5 meters per second this will be 1500 meters i'll convert this also into this thing. now so 12.5 is equal to l distance traveled is l that is the length of this arc divided by time taken is 15 seconds right t is 15 seconds so l will be equal to 12.5 into 15 12.5 multiplied by 15 will give me 187.5 187.5 meters this is the this is the length of the curve traced by the train in 15 seconds now i know l i know r both i know so i can get theta so theta will be equal to theta will be equal to 
theta will be equal to L by R. L is 187.5 and radius is 1500 meters. So if I divide this by 187.5 divided by 1500 gives me 0.125 radians. I am getting this in radians. I have put this in centimeters and this, uh, sorry, this in meters, this also in meters. Both are in meters. Both should be in the same unit. Any unit, any one unit. Now, if I uh, divide this, I am getting 0.125 radians. Now, this radians have to be converted into degrees. To convert it into degrees, what I have to do is, theta will be equal to 0.125 into 180 divided by 5. So here, 0.125 is already there into 180 divided by 5. If you do, you will get 7.16 degrees or 7.16 or 16 degrees you can take. 7.16 degrees. If you want to give it in degrees, minutes, etc., it will be 7 degrees, 9 minutes, 43 seconds. So this will be the value of theta. You can give it like this or like this. Whatever way you want, you can give it. This is enough. If you do 7.16 degree, that will suffice. This problem carries 5, uh, five marks. So you will get 5 marks. So this is the type of problems which will be coming in for 5 marks in this particular chapter for you uh, of carrying 5 marks. So I think you are uh, you have understood it. Now you can solve some more problems. You can change these values, make your own problems. You can solve them and do it. I am taking one more problem of 9SE01M of uh, April May 2016. April May 2016. April May 2016. One more problem. Again from section C. Section C problem number 1 he says here. So different sections are given different numbers. So it is section C, first problem for 5 marks. Find the area of sector of a circle of radius 20 centimeter. So R is given. R is given as 20 centimeters. The central angle of the sector is, that is theta is 60 degree, find the area of the sector. So it is very similar to the problems, earlier problems that we did. Here, this was the, one, the problem which was little uh, tricky, otherwise they will be of very simple problems. So A is equal to, area is equal to R square theta divided by 2. Now theta is 60 degree. So it must be converted into radians. So 61s are 63 is a 5 by 3 radians. This is the value of theta. Now A will be equal to R square that is 20 square into theta is 5 by 3 divided by 2. That is this will be 2 into 3. 20 square means 400, 5 by 6, so 400 by 6, 400 divided by 6 will give us 66.66, 66.665 square centimeters. This is the area of the 
sector A. So this is how you have to do the problems. You can work out some more problems from the question papers. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. I once again request you to like, share, subscribe the channel so that you can get more and more good videos. Thank you.